Yes, my fellow beer friends, I greet everyone. So there's a video I just came across and I was so disappointed to see that video. You see, most of our pastors or people that call themselves pastors, I don't understand, I don't really understand them. They are the main problem of our people. Imagine this pastor campaigning for um, Hopo Zodema, telling Biafras to come and vote uh, in this corrupt system of Nigeria. Hmm. I really pity some people. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I can't even tell because the way they act and some people will just go and be going to that church because maybe he find them money or something like that. He give them something and they don't know that these people are the people that is sponsoring these this, um, criminal politicians. They know that Nigeria is not working, but they still want to campaign in that same government. Eh? They are the people that is putting you people in this problem you are. This type of people. Just listen to this video and judge by yourself and see if this man really meant well for Imo people or Biafra people or Igbo people. Just watch this video. In the Imo state, in the by Chuku Gozionu, Oh, yeah, I'm trying to name my Naha Jesus. My name is Evangelist Chukwe Bukano Ziovi, General Overseer of Zion Prayer Movement Outreach and the founder of Seraphic Cones Foundation. God bless you. I've come again for the matter concerning Imo State, the state of my origin. God bless you and God bless all the Imo lights. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. I have interest in Imo State election. My interest is that there is no family you will enter in Imo State without seeing Zion member. So that is my number one interest. I know they listen to me. I know they respect me a lot. And I know they are aware that I'm a man of integrity. They know what I stand for. May God bless them all. And I pray for peace in that forthcoming election, 11th of next month, November. And I pray for protection of all the Imolites and especially Zion members. And uh, I want to also use this opportunity to thank Governor Hope who said, we must learn how to appreciate people when they do what is right. When Lagos was on fire, when the houses of Igbo people were being demolished, Governor Hope said, was the only governor that came from the Southeast. He came from the Southeast and met the governor of Lagos State. And they died a lot. And they stopped the demolition of Igbo properties in Alaba International. It's, it wants to praise somebody. It wants to thank somebody. So Governor Hope said, thank you for that. There was a time I cried out about the road leading to my village and uh, Iseke from Nobis Primary School. That road has been abandoned by former governors of Imo State. When I cried out about that road, Governor Hope said, promise and they have sent contractors to measure it and the work will commence on Thursday. So Governor Hope, Thank you for accepting to do the road for the people and also the secondary school that was that is falling. God bless you. I need to appreciate you for what you have done in Alaba International, for what you have done in Imo State, and I know what you will do more after the election. So God bless you, Imo Lights. Go out there and vote wisely. Don't be deceived. If you decided to kill your brother that day, Abuja does not know you kill your brother. So you see that at the end, we are the one hurting ourselves. I beg the politicians in Igbo land on my birthday about the release of Nanek and how they will go. This is the only birthday gift I need from you and him and the other senators here to go to Asorok and plead for release of Mazen Namdekano. Because if you are wise and intelligent enough, you will know that this dialogue we need. If you like, continue to kill your brothers in the southeast, it will not release Nam the Khan. If there is any man of God that has been crying about the issue of Nam the Khan in Ibo land, I am number one person. And with my knowledge, I know that what will save us is dialogue. And the people that will go for this dialogue are these governors, senators. That is why I was pleading to them through Senator Silis Naso to take the message. And the bloggers on the Facebook we are to waste the matter. But this truth, the only people that will go for this dialogue are our governors, senators, our elites, political leaders. You that are killing your brother in the village, are you the one that will go to Abuja? Will they open the gate for you? So once again, 
Lord of Hope, Osadema, thank you for the road you will commence on Thursday. Thank you for what you did in Alabama International and Imo Lights, all the whole Imo State people. Go out there and vote wisely. God bless you and preserve you. And I pray for peace in that election in Jesus' holy name.